But we begin tonight with the multi-million dollar verdict in a lawsuit against a Dearborn police officer. Good evening and welcome to 7 Action News at 11. I'm Carolyn Clifford. Body cam video of the arrest is part of the evidence that convinced a jury to award the young man more than $9 million. The plaintiff argued his rights were violated at a White Castle on Telegraph nearly five years ago. Well, tonight he talked to 7 Action News reporter Brett Cast about the night he will never forget. Well, back in 2018, a then 20-year-old Luther Gonzalez Hall came near this White Castle and he says he asked an officer for directions. That then led to a rough arrest in this parking lot, leading to lifelong injuries, a lawsuit, and now a $9.3 million verdict. Hey, what are you doing, man? The confrontation begins in a White Castle with 20 year old Luther Gonzalez Hall on his bike asking the employees for directions shortly after asking an officer the same. I told you where I was at, right? Yeah. So why are you in here asking the same thing? I'm not for sure where I'm going. I told you where to go. All right. It was this moment Gonzalez Hall and his attorneys say that everything changed. I think he was having a bad day and just took it out on me. Gonzalez Hall tries to leave on his bike and the officer follows. Eventually, both end up in a struggle on the ground. What did I do? What did I do? I'm sorry. What did I do? I just was asking for directions, bro. With the body cam knocked to the ground, Gonzalez Hall says he was being choked and was able to run off. His eventual arrest led to severe injuries, resulting in broken bones, multiple surgeries, and lifelong injuries. It hurts to even walk up the stairs or walk anywhere. You know, my foot swells up real bad. It's broken in like five spots. But yesterday in Wayne County Court, after a five-year legal battle against the officer, a jury sided with Gonzalez Hall with a verdict of $9.3 million. This young man now has to walk around with the limp because of the surgeries he's had. And all of that was preventable if the officer kept his cool and just given him a ride home. Attorney Azam Elder says his client tried to de-escalate, but the officer escalated and in the process violated Gonzalez Hall's constitutional rights. Elder says charges for resisting arrest were eventually dropped. Yes, he had you know, uh, something to drink. He was at a friend's house, but you don't do that. You don't walk into a white castle and then walk out where your health is basically destroyed for the rest of your life. I was just happy that the uh, people that didn't even know me you know, gave me justice. An elder says the officer could always appeal this verdict. The city of Dearborn says they will not comment given there could be pending litigation. In Dearborn, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News.